Hi there guys, I'm Joe Garth and in this video I'm going to break down how this scene is put together and sort of introduce you to some of the new CryEngine features that we'll be adding in the coming months. So one of the main features of this scene is dynamic snow shading. I'm using a decal to project snow onto all the scene geometry. I have control of the angle of the decal, uh, which allows me to adjust the direction of the snow. I also have the ability to change the slope of the surface normal. This controls how much snow sort of settles on the objects. This technique could be used in lots of other situations as well, for instance sand in a desert scenario, or perhaps overgrowth or moss on the side of trees. When I disable the snow decal, you can see the various terrain textures I've used to paint the scene. I'm also using a second decal for the mountain backdrop, which also uses the CryEngine terrain system. Another feature I'm using is object terrain integration. This is a little checkbox in our geomensity properties that allows a custom mesh to be rendered with the terrain material. This allows you to integrate objects directly into the terrain. It also supports all of our terrain features, such as detail textures and parallax mapping. The other interesting feature here is object terrain blending. This allows us to create a soft transition between terrain materials and objects like rocks and tree trunks. You can sort of see how this harsh line between the object and the terrain is blended convincingly. I'm also using the volumetric clouds feature in combination with a skybox. This creates clouds which can be both dynamically lit and also move through the sky. As with almost everything in CryEngine, the lighting is calculated in real time. This means I can adjust the sun position without waiting for any light baking or pre-computed shadows. Another small but quite significant update is the ability to alter normal map strength directly in our material editor. In the future, we're planning to expose many of these sort of smaller technical abilities so artists can have even more control of their scenes. So I hope you enjoyed this small presentation and hopefully we'll have more of these technology demonstrations and scene breakdowns in the future.